Brian, anchors up. Something fell out of his pocket. I can't wash myself without... It will be safe with... Whoa, I hope it won't fall on my head. I don't want to make it even worse. I already stink like a hope. <laughs> the dung fork will take root before I do work like that. I need a high color. End of lolling about, you lazy bum. You're awake? Yep. You didn't stab my arse with something, did you? Nah. You must have been dreaming. Thanks for the lodging. Pleasant, isn't it? Some people mind the smell of the horses, but I like it here. So, tell me, what are you up to, apart from sleeping? Where are you rushing to, pal? You know where. Are you coming with me or not? You're obsessed with getting to America. Sure I'm coming, but we can't do it without money. I know that. You don't need to get smart. Don't worry. I chased up a job. We'll have money. A job, you say? Just you wait for it. What kind of job? I want to know everything about it. You're not going to stop it, are you? I look after horses for a fella who wants to get to his father's vault. He doesn't dare do it himself. You know these aristocrats. We agreed I'll bring him those papers and he'll pay for it. I would do it myself, you know, but I thought it would be better to have someone reliable with me. That's why you're here. That sounds good, but maybe too good. What do you know about him? And don't you dare try to stop me, Tim. Just try to imagine what could be inside that vault. The man only wants papers and documents, do you understand? We keep the rest, that's certain, and anything else we find around too. If you're not interested, I can ask somebody else. But you can forget about America. No, Brian, it's okay. We'll do this together, like we used to. Now you sound like the good old Tim. I knew you'd go with me. Don't think I don't trust you or anything, but how are you going to do that? Robbing a vault isn't the... You're right, pal. We'd better think everything over in deep. The plan is as follows. Well, we'll simply go there, be quiet, and get in somehow. Then we'll find the vault, take all the stuff, and get out. Easy. I see. And you call this a plan? What are you complaining about this time? Oh, jeez, Brian, wake up. This isn't like stealing apples at the market. If we get caught, we'll end up in jail. All right, so what do you want? A plan, you dimwit. What do you think I'm talking about? Do you really think I'll do everything myself? Wait a minute. I chased up the job. You arranged the rest. That's fair, don't you think? However, I'm going with you just in case you blow it. We share 50-50, and that's just because you're my friend. I might have guessed it would end up like that. Give me the address. I'll take... See? It didn't hurt. Go straight ahead, then up the street, and you'll be there in no time. It's the prestigious residential district. Paradise Street. The first house on the right. Good luck. Yeah, 
I like this place. I'll try to find out how... Greetings. How are you? Uh, depends who's asking. I was just passing by and I saw you working so hard. No. Go and beg somewhere else. I'm not a beggar. But as you wish. There could be a problem with lights at night. I don't like the fellow with the broom. I'll have to do something about him. Wake up. I need your help. Saying please would help. Oh, stop it, Brian. I went to look over the house. Did you know anyone there? I met a servant, but he was pretty... It was like talking to a brick wall. Yeah, I know which one you mean, and you can forget it immediately. You don't have enough money to bribe him. Oh, great. So how do we get in, smart ass? I don't know. Try a maid or something. You've always known how to deal with girls. Hey, that's not a bad idea. So come on. You distract the servant, and I'll climb over the wall. Pal, what if something gets messed up? Don't worry. It'll be okay. At worst, we can just pretend we're stealing apples. Come on, get up. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. I think he's awake, even though he doesn't look... A good luck charm. Good luck is that nobody... Yeah, I worked for a banker before, but I'm rather attracted by horses. Really? What did he need you for? You won't believe it. I took care of his horse until it died. Yet once in a while, he took a pretty nice sum of money to the bank, so I went with him as a bodyguard. You haven't seen so much money in your entire life? Oh, yeah, I haven't seen more than 20 pounds at the same time. But tell me, you never thought of bashing him and running away? Oh, no. I'm not into such things. I'm just a fair guy. What can I do? How does Brian do that? I didn't even manage to get three stupid sentences out of the man. As I can't get to the keys, the keys have to get to me. I love such a life, to lie in bed all the time while the servants... The air is clear. Lisa, is the breakfast ready? It's at the window, madam. You told me not to serve hot tea, so I let it cool. I will inspect it. There will be trouble if something is... Hmm. The best way would be to lure someone out. Damn. I almost filled my pumps. The air is clear. It should be fixed now. Some... Whoa. 
What is this supposed to mean, Lisa? Yes, madam. I ordered you to bring a bottle of red wine. Why is it not here? It's impossible. I brought it. Do I really have to do everything myself? No, madam. Go for the keys and bring a new bottle immediately. But I really... No talking back. And you don't tolerate this? Yes, madam. The maid is going to the cellar. That suits my plan. What's this? Does Brian have a hole in his pocket or what? I love such a life. I don't want to run in just like that. Some I'll try to stuff it into the keyhole and then I'll get out. Perhaps someone will get trapped. A maid will arrive there soon, but she won't be able to get into the cellar. The main thing is that she'll have the keys. Poor girl. She won't move that door alone. Luckily, I'm around. You have no business to be in here. Excuse me, miss. I heard you need a new stable boy. I'm here to apply. No, I don't know anything about it. Who I work in stables nearby, and I met your young master. He said a pair of skilled hands would be helpful. Probably more than a pair, but the master doesn't want any new servants. Then what do you advise? I don't want to intrude, but I'm sure I'd love this. The best thing you can do is to leave. Don't get angry, but today there's pl- You're right. But it's a pity. At least because of you. I'm a mere stable boy. When I see a sad girl, I immediately wonder how to cheer her up. What would you say to a lucky horseshoe? It brings better days. Just take it and you'll see. It works. Are you serious? I don't believe in those old yarns. Oh, you're making a mistake. A lucky horseshoe can change your life entirely. Hide it under your bed and you'll see. Well, thank you. But it won't solve my problem anyway. You poor desperate thing. She definitely won't refuse a stranger's helping hand now. Tell me, why are you crying? Yet yeah, the lock is seized up or something, and I will be chided. Can't he get it himself? No, he can't. He stays in his bed all the time because he's seriously ill. Oh, I see. 
And there's no other entrance to the cellar? No, there isn't. Or maybe there is, but I don't know where. Huh? How come? Well, it's said that there is a secret staircase between the master's workroom and the cellar. Allegedly, it's there so our master could stay unseen by the lady when he goes down for wine. He's really fond of drinking, but the doctor set him a strict limit. One glass a day. Oh, that's interesting. So you don't know where exactly it is? No, I don't. And I can't go upstairs anyway, even if I knew it. Such a trivial matter isn't worth the upset. Show me the key and I'll help you. I'm not sure. I don't know you. What do you mean? I'm your new stable boy, am I not? You're a joker. Here you are. Take them, but quickly so that nobody sees you. What are you doing with those keys? We only wanted to open the door. Now I'll heat them a bit. It helps to clean the filth, you know. No, I don't know. Just don't damage anything. Don't be afraid. I've done this before. I'm surprised. I've never heard of anything like that. Ah, for me, it's just an everyday routine. The door will be opened in a minute. Ouch. I didn't think it out. The keys are still hot. What are you doing with those keys? We only wanted to open the door. Don't worry, young lady. I'll just oil them and it'll go much easier. You're really lucky I'm here. I'm not so sure. Don't worry, it's almost done. I brought. All right, but please hurry up or I'll have problems. I'm glad I imprinted both keys. One never knows what might happen. I don't want to run in just like that. So, have a nice day. I'll drop by tomorrow. Hopefully, there will be a job for me. All right, but I can't promise anything. Our master won't accept just anybody. It wasn't a bad start. Here it is, my pal, our ticket to paradise. Let me see. Hey, wasn't that my candle? No, but we need a locksmith. The kind who doesn't ask. Could he make a duplicate? Sure. So go on. Very well, I admit that. But I won't lift a finger for you at night. Just don't do anything stupid and everything will be okay. And go now, otherwise you won't make it. Jesus, you're worse than my mother. How do you know? You've never met her. <laughs> Damn, you're right. As soon as, as, soon as he, he gets, gets up, up, I'll catch a quick nap. nap. I think, think this will be a pretty, pretty wild, wild night. night. When I'm staring at the ceiling, not able to fall asleep, I wonder whether it was such a good idea to flee to Plymouth. Maybe I'm just kidding myself about I guess it's the same mess there as it is here. But if I don't get there, or at least try to, I simply have to do it. No matter who I have to rob, those fat cats on Paradise Street were robbing others so they could live like pigs in clover. Now they'll be the ones robbed instead. The time has come. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Or are you too scared? No, not at all. Well, maybe just a bit apprehensive. Okay, I'll go first, then you, you chicken. I pre damn, damn. 
Were you waiting for something, Brian? I can't open the damned gate. These keys are good for nothing. Yeah, because those aren't the gate keys you dim with. Damn, I'm wasting my time here. Let's climb over the wall. I'll take another way. We'll see who gets there first. Okay. Let's meet at the back door. I'll climb over the wall. It's okay. Not a soul in here. Be quiet. He could wake up. Who? The servant. He fell asleep on the terrace. Watch out. He has a gun. That's not possible. Trust me. He has a gun. We have to go through the main entrance. We can't. We only have the cellar key and the terrace door key. Hmm. That's too bad. Do you have a plan? We can go through the cellar. What are you talking about? The vault is in the workroom. The maid said there's a secret passage. But we don't have time to search the cellar now. Oh, come on, pal. Can you imagine how much booze there is? If we don't find the passage, at least we can have a merry night. Then think what we could get up to after that. <laughs> All right, you've convinced me. It's been a long time since I had a good wine. Just don't break anything. Give me the keys. I wonder which idiot blocked the lock up with the cork. This is a good joke. At first I blocked the door with the cork and now I've got to get it out. Hey Tim, what the hell are you doing? Let me be. I'll be there in a minute. Shake a leg for God's sake. Done. The cork is out. Still locked. Hey, Tim. How long will it take? You're even slower than my granny. It's done. Let's go in. Wait. I'm going first. It's pretty dark in here. So where do we start? I can't see anything. I told you this is stupid. So light the candle. We need light or we'll never find the passage. But won't the light be visible through the windows? It doesn't matter. We can cover them. Someone could come. Then we'll smash his face in and tie him up. What if he calls the police? We'll escape through the sewers. They'll shoot at us. Then we'll shoot back. But we don't have any guns. We'll steal some. And before you ask, we'll take some gold as well to buy the boat tickets. Do you want to know anything else? Just to make it clear, I am the brains behind this operation. Uh, yeah, right. Of course. Find a piece of junk and do something with the windows. Without light, we're... Now you're talking. Pity it doesn't have window shutters. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> Heavy as a bull. I can't move it. Pity it doesn't have window shutters.
I'm not going to chat. I'm not going to chat. This is the poshest piece of rag I've ever stolen. It'd be possible with a wooden board. The rag is useless here. It'd be possible with a wooden board. The rag is useless here. I'll try to loosen the cork, but I don't want to make too much noise. Cheap rubbish. This one's done. I can think of only one thing I can do now. It's disgusting. If I threw it on the wall, it would stick there like a bead. This should do. Ryan, where are you? Down here in the cellar. Stop shouting. What the hell are you doing there? I'm looking for a passage agent. And have you found anything? Yeah, there's plenty of alcohol in here. A cart would come in handy. That will bring one next time, okay? And what do you think I'm doing? We should have gone through the main entrance. I told you that from the very beginning. And do you know where the workroom is? In which part of the house? The man who hired us said it's on the second floor on the northern side. And you've known this the whole time? Sure. You should have asked. You're such an idiot, Brian. Next time you find something out, let me... No way am I going... alarm. I thought the loose screw might have been the switch. If the passage is behind them, I can't see any mecha. Brian, do you have anything? Nothing. Oh, great. Keep searching. Hey, Tim, come here. Stop shouting. Somebody will hear you. I doubt that. The walls are pretty thick. So what? Go and get a crowbar. But well, now you're commanding me, are you? No, just get a crowbar. Please. Happy now? Okay, I'll get it, pal. Catch it. What are you doing? Watch out! Oh, damn. Sorry. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Thanks. What do you need it for? I found a loose brick on the wall. I'll try to prise it off. Nothing. Just a false alarm. Oh, Brian, you did it. Unbelievable. What? The passage into the workroom. You found it. Come on. Ah, uh, sure I found it. I'll be right there. Move. Are you asleep or what? I've broken my nail. Go ahead. I'll catch you up. I won't wait for him. It's senseless.
if it was my house, where would I hide the vault? Chessboard is fastened to the nothing, not even a few. Pe I'm not going to climb. I'm wasting my time. It would be difficult to run. It's too dangerous. I'll stay here. I thought it could be a false wall. Wait a minute. Who opened the door? Brian. I was afraid it was someone else. Relax. The old codger takes something to help him sleep. He's totally stiff. Oh, well, that really reassures me. What did you expect? I told you he wouldn't move out of his bed. Well, if you know that, you can tell me where the vault is. Well, that's a bit more difficult. How come? The vault is somewhere in the workroom. It's hidden, but I don't know where. And the old man should have the number code written down somewhere. And let me guess, you don't know... Exactly. So you try to find the vault. I'll have a look around here. Great. Let me know when you find it. Only rags. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to look under the pillow. Are you mad? Relax. I don't want to know what would happen if he... Well, turn around. Oh, that was close. What's this supposed to mean? Why is he hiding this? The old codger reads about crossbows. But why is there only one page under the pillow? Where's the rest? That's not a good idea. Look what he'd hidden. Strange, isn't it? What is it? He must have torn it. That's strange. I thought you were searching for a vault. Well, I just couldn't resist. You know what? Me neither. Look what I have. A tobacco box. But I can't open it. Oh, it can't be that difficult. Then you try it, smartass. There must be some kind of a cat. Give it to me. I still can't comprehend why the old man had only the single page with him. Probably I should find the book it fits in. There's some kind of a clap. Nothing in here. I don't care for an old. I thought it could be a false wall. I thought it could be a. F I'm not going to climb up. What? Strange. 
books are more messy here than anywhere else. These books are so tightly packed. I'm not. It's too dense. I'm not going to climb up. There are some books about guns, but not about crossbows. I thought it could be a... It hampers the view. Now that's much better. I thought it could be a false wall. I can't believe it. It was under my very nose all the time. What's so special about it? He carved the inside of... It would be difficult. The chessboard is fastened to the table, but it's not possible to revolve it. It won't move. Where did it come from? It sounded as if it came from below the floor. There can't be any vault. The old codger has it well thought out. I can't tell for sure, but I'll find it out. He doesn't know me yet. What are you doing here? Who, who are you? Damn! A thief! Shut up! You! Don't talk! What are you doing? I can't! Bloody hell! You'll kill him, you idiot! Don't worry. They already know we're here, but they... I'll block the door. Okay, but quickly! I have to... The only idea I have is to take it to the next room and block the door. It should hold there for a while.
It won't hold there for long, but still. Open the door and meet. Hey, pal. Let's get out. There. Take the documents quickly. One. Oh, the shoe. And what about the old geese? I don't care. You killed him? No. Let's meet outside. Come on, pal. We're getting out. There's still something left. So take it for God's sake. Oh, wait. They'll be here in a few seconds. Hold still. This is the police. Hands up, quick. This is the end. The pass is over, son. I really didn't want it this way. Forgive me, Brian. We've already got your pal. Keep your hands up and don't try to pull it. I should have listened to you. I'm not joking, boy. I'll count to three, then we shoot. Get out of here before it's too late. One. Two. I don't want to go to jail. Three. But I don't feel like dying either. Gentlemen, I'm yours. Fourteenth of November, 1894. A brutal murder. What are the police concealing about Mad William's funeral? Read on as we expose another public scandal. The beast is alive and wants blood. When the idle police are doing nothing, the time is right for hunting. I deserve a kicking. How come he managed to take photos of the whole cemetery? I would have seen him. I should call the chief inspector. He'll hear about it anyway. So, here I am. Detective Sergeant Briscoe. Yes, I read that, and I'm as surprised as you are, sir. I think it's a fraud. He managed to take some photos, but he couldn't... Of course, I intended to summon him or arrest him, if it would be needed. Sir, I am not sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I questioned all the suspects that were arrested before the burial. The results are still quite low, but I've just begun. Yes, that's true. We arrested several extortionists, thieves, and layabouts, but nobody knew any. Only a silly rumor is going around. No, sir, I've not received the post-mortem report yet, but I'll get it. I'll... I'll keep you informed. We'll find something sooner or later. Goodbye. But I must confess this device has an indisputable advantage. In moments like this, I prefer not to talk face to face. Let's sum it up, step by step. 